Yo, what is going on guys? It is Trevor or Trevor whatever and today um, we're going to try something a little bit different on the channel. Um, so a thing that I, I learned quite a while back was origami. Um, so you're just going to take a scrap piece of whatever you need. This just happens to be the promotion from my Galaxy Note 9. Um, it just kind of represents a normal um, 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So then you're just going to make a square out of it. So you're just going to line up this edge like this just like that and then you're gonna go and you're going to turn it over I mean you can, I guess it doesn't really matter how you do this but uh, you're just gonna want to line that up real nice just like that and then you're gonna want to try to go back and forth a couple times um, until you get a semi decent um, crease and then at this point um, you can lick it and it, that'll help you rip right on that line Otherwise, if you folded it enough, um, it should rip um, fairly simply right down that uh, right down that line. And then now you you can you can make a smaller um, bird out of here, but uh, you don't you don't have to. Um, so then, with this piece of paper here, normally yours won't have all these other crinkles and stuff. It'll just be, have the one half fold here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open it up, turn it like this, and then you're going to fold it straight down. And I am turning it a little bit just so that I can see around the camera. But then you're just going to, you know, just crease it like that. And then you can go and lay it down and you can use your nail to get a really nice crease onto it. So now you should have an X. And then, so it doesn't really matter which way you pick it up. Um, but then you're just going to fold top to the bottom or left to right, depending on how you guys are um, experiencing this. Um, so... I know I'm doing a lot of turning guys, um, this part really doesn't matter as much right now. So right now you should have the X with the one line, so then you're just going to turn it. And then now you're going to have the, you're just going to be like that then, just do your, your, your crease again. And then, so now you should have it up and down, left and right, diagonal this way diagonal this way. So what you're going to do is it doesn't matter which diagonal you fold, but you're going to put these together like this. And then you're just going to hold down right here and you're just going to push until that flattens and then this will just get put, turned right over the top. And then you just kind of push it down flat. So what you're going to do is like I just said, you're just going to take put your finger right here. Just take this corner probably want to hold it more towards the middle but when you pick it up like this this whole thing will just fold right in on that crease and it works really nicely and then you can push it um, so then you're just going to hold in the middle and do the same thing on the other side and you're just going to fold it in like that so now you got this little triangle type looking piece of paper dealy here um, so now um, so the bottom is going to be look like this the top is you know you're not going to be able to open it um, so you're just going to take it bottom side towards you, and then, uh, well, you know, first, firstly, um, you're going to want to um, fold this just in half, the you know top and bottom way. Um, so, like I said, top is oops, top is like this, bottom is like this. You're just going to fold it right in half, and then you're just going to flip it 360 degrees over. You're going to then just pinch it again. Um, the opposite way and then at this point it really doesn't matter which side you're looking at as long as the, the bottom is down and then you're just going to take this and you're just going to fold that um, kind of triangularly over to the center and you're just going to make want to make a crease and then you're going to unfold it and then you're going to do the same thing with this other piece you're going to fold that make a crease so now these should stick up a little bit and you're going to flip it over 360 degrees or 180 I'm so sorry I don't know my degrees apparently guys. Um, Alright, so then you're just going to crease it again. And then, this is the back side again like I said. Um, so then you're going to want to crease that there. And then you just undo it. And then what you can do is, you just take both and you can go to one side. And then you can go back. And you just want a nice crease because this is really going to help you out um, majorly in the next step. Um, which is probably the hardest step to wrap your mind around. But it 
it will be easier to understand. So then you can just take both of these like this and then you're just going to want to bend this straight down so that you get a nice crease on there and then you can flip it over and do the exact same thing um, where you, you get these creases here um, like that and then you're going to just crease the, the top triangle back this way. So now at this point you should have some really nice creases here, here, here and then the same on the back. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pick a side um, bottom still is the bottom and you're just going to pick it up and you just stick your finger in there and go like that and then you're just going to take and kind of push both of these in while pushing the back down and it just it will fold right up all by itself. Um, you might have to force it a little bit, it might bend like it just did right here towards the towards the bottom here so then you just push that push that towards the crease and it will flatten right out and then you can just firm firm up these creases um, if you want to it will make your bird a little bit more crisp so then this is still the bottom you just want to flip it 180 and you're going to pick it up again or just open up this, this side do it the exact same way that you did last time you're just going to take and push in the sides and then push on the back and then the whole thing just falls nicely into place just like that, really nicely into place. So then, once you're here, you're gonna wanna pick this up. This was the bottom, the legs should move freely, the top does not, but you're just gonna to wanna to take it and you're gonna turn it either way, it doesn't matter, you're gonna do the exact same thing to both sides, but you're gonna open up the one side. You wanna open up the one side, doesn't matter, like I said. And then you just wanna fold it up on that crease, and then you just wanna crease it, you know, so nicely there and then you just want to fold that in and then squish. So recap on that here, open, fold up until it's flush with the bottom here and then just pinch it closed. And then you're just going to do the same exact thing for this side. Open, take it and fold it um, straight up into there and then you're just going to close it. So now you should be left with a little triangle with what look like two kind of heads if you pull on these, these that you fold it up. So what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to pull it out until um, it lines up flush with this edge and the, the neck and then you can do it like that and then now it's you got a nice flat edge there. And then you just want to do the exact same thing. Grab the middle, the middle triangle that you folded up, and you just want to pull it out to the po the same point where it is then flush with the edge. And then at this point, you can just kind of pull the wings down to the side a little bit and pinch right here, and then slowly and gently pull. And if you hear, if you start to hear like that little rip, try it on the other side because then it's probably the wrong way. This is this is the part that I've never perfected. Um, I can never tell which side is is which. So if you don't hear any ripping, you're going you did it perfect. Um, but then you're just going to take and you're going to fold this, not a lot, but just just you know give it a little bit of a bend, um, right on the sides here. Um, so it sticks out a little bit, and then you're going to take the head. And there's a little, you can see it opens. And all you're gonna wanna do is take and you're gonna push down. So here, just push down on the tip and then pinch. And that's how you make the bird's head. You can make it, the beak stick out by pulling it up and just creasing again, depending on how you want the, the bird to look. Um, and then you can take the front, the front feet, they open up like this. And then you can just bend those back a little bit, or you can, I mean, you can squish them all the way back and then just bring them forward. And you can do the exact same thing on the back. You just take these out, and just bend up, just bend the corners up a little bit, and then it'll stand, stand li nicely like this for you guys. But then when you want it to flap, you just hold right here, hold gent. I mean, you can hold pretty tightly, but then you just want to pull on the tail ever so slightly, and that right there, guys, is how you make an origami flapping bird. I hope that you all have enjoyed this nice little tutorial on how to make the origami flapping bird. Um, if you guys did enjoy and you guys want me to do more tutorials like this in the future, 
um, or you know just whatever you guys think is cool uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments right now um, whether I should do more origami more tutorials um, origami tutorials Roblox I mean whatever you guys think um, but I would really appreciate it guys I had a, a lot of fun making this and yeah um, new video coming soon maybe the world's largest origami bird we'll see who knows but with that said guys thank you so very much for watching see you later bye